I just want to update you on what's been happening at Revival Fires. We've been out around the UK, we've been down in the southwest and up in the northeast, but also we've been out in Vienna and in all the places where we're going, we're seeing a greater hunger both for the presence of God and to make his presence known to people outside the four walls of the church. And yesterday in our meeting on the Sunday morning, we had Bill Prankard with us and he just released the fire of God and to see again the enthusiasm of people wanting to just press in to get hold of something of the presence of God and carry it on their lives. And he gave a call for people to receive the fire and people just ran en masse to the front. The result of that was that people then during the afternoon went out into the streets and they went over to the snooker hall just from here and we had some tremendous testimonies which you're going to hear now of people who went out began to witness to people and see people saved so here they are as they come and give their testimonies at the last night's meeting <laughs> so yeah and we were, we were walking back down there uh in trepidation a little bit i was saying you know i'm not sure i'm, I'm dressed for this what they're going to think of this mid that is sort of bad shorts and trainers look and he was saying well what about my pink shirt and uh, <laughs> and these, these these guys are tough you know they've all got tattoos way down their arm well anyway a couple of minutes later mark came to join us i i got talking to one guy about um the the just the need to feel the love of god and he um i, I felt called to talk to him about uh father uh, and not experiencing the love of a father, which was absolutely true for him. His uh, dad left him when he was one year old, and he, he just received prayer from Mark and me. And whilst we were ministering uh, to his need, um, Tom just led another guy to the Lord in around about yeah, 60 seconds. <laughs> I followed these two down here. I legged it behind them because I was quite... I was interested to see what they were going to do. <laughs> I thought these geezers were going to eat them alive. <laughs> you know, bench press them back out. <laughs> you know, but, but no, the truth is, I stood back because I really did want to see what they were going to do. And I'll tell you what, folks, th this, is the, this is the truth. Those guys out there are hungry. <laughs> and when you see Richard standing there, you know what I mean? He, he weren't pinned against the wall. He just sort of had his back against the wall. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the truth is, these guys wanted to hear what they had to say. Do you know what I mean? And what I was just so surprised about was, Trevor, <laughs> was that they, they, I tell you what, they were hungry to hear something. You know, at the end of the day, the truth is, it's one, it's one big front up. You know what I mean? But the truth is, when you get underneath, you can speak to something. And that's what you want to speak to. You want to get underneath and speak to that inside. And when we were praying for that geezer, he come along and he gave a word. And when he started talking about his father, I thought, hold it. <laughs> you know what I mean? This could get a bit nasty, you know, because getting really emotional. But nah, it was brilliant. And it was, it was a lot of fun. I want to invite you to come to these five days of outpouring. It's not a repeat of last year. I believe God is going to do something more with you in putting fire on you so that you take it out into the highways and the byways. And the testimonies that you've just heard will become your testimonies. So why don't you come here over the next five days? We've got wonderful wonderful time ahead of us as the presence of God comes bring the sick bring the unsaved because the sick will be healed the unsaved will be saved and come and enjoy the presence of God with us so like we said come get some so that you can give some away to somebody else God bless you